Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today we will review the multimedia system, infotainment system and also the digital cockpit um, from new Skoda Superb EV plug-in hybrid. So this is the same system that you will find it also in the normal uh, version of Skoda Superb 2020. So let's start the uh, review kind of the review so we will start with the digital cockpit uh, and i want to show you that you can control those are the buttons that you can control the uh, digital cockpit that it's right there so it's very simple you just press the view and you can change the view there you can customize in 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 a few ways guys let me adjust a little bit the the light so just like that, you can, you can actually customize the things very simply there. You can see, you can choose what you like to see, the navigation, the audio. Uh, you can leave it at the telephone, for example, the phone, the vehicle status. Uh, if you have information about the car, for example, errors or stuff like that. Driving data. Here you can choose the driving data and you can see all kind of information about uh, the total range of the car, the road traffic, the warning, the oil temperature, coolant temperature, how, how much you, you drive until now, the consumption uh, that is right now inside the car. Then you have the assistance systems that you can choose to have it right there on the screen where you can um, also activate and deactivate different safety features. For example, the uh, adaptive cruise control, the side, uh, the, blink, the blind spot, the real traffic alert, front assist and stuff like that. Uh, also, you can choose to see, for example, let me show you. Uh, you can choose to see the navigation. That's the most cool stuff uh, on the car, the navigation. So you can choose to see it like that. Or you can choose to see it um, this view. This is kind of the sport view if you want to drive sporty. Uh, this is also a cool view for you or you can actually uh, choose the navigation let me go back to the main screen this is kind of the main screen uh, it looks pretty pretty nice in my opinion uh, and also you can customize this screen in many ways let me show you for example if you go here on the view you can see the navigation all over the screen or you can see it smaller uh, like that so you can also choose the way you want to see um, the screen right there in front of you so uh, pretty nice other than that there is the um, the speedometer and also the turometer right there also you have few information the temperature outside the speed the traffic speed limit signs and also down there you have the cruise control and the lane assist uh, information it's pretty nice it's the same good as you find it on the Volkswagen also on the Audi great resolution great screen nice colors and it's also a very big screen I think it's 10 inch display or something like that maybe bigger anyway it's big enough and you have a great visibility from here also you can see right there um, and the battery charge state of charge because this is the plug-in hybrid you have the battery and also you can see how much gas you have inside the car right there on the right side so uh, now that we finish with that we have another buttons here on the steering wheel that you can actually uh, change different settings music and stations and stuff like that from the screen also you have the voice control right here but I don't want to use it I'm not such a big fan of the voice command also the car come with the biggest screen this is the 9 9.2 inch display with motion control and stuff like that and also you have a 3d map uh, also here you can see the car can read the speed speed limits you can see you have a 3d map let me show you right now if you press this button here in the corner uh, yes right now it's in 3d and you can also see the buildings and stuff like that if you are in a big city you can see the building you can see everything in 3d but you can also choose to see the navigation in normal way like you see it in other cars also the traffic alerts and all that um, information about the traffic you have it right here on the map uh, pretty cool 
Um, now also here you can go directly where where the car it is right now in this moment and also here you can change day and night and uh, all that settings that get you directly to the navigation uh, and stuff like that also don't want to go too into detail i think you know what i'm talking about and also if you go to a destination for example you choose a destination i don't know let me choose a ran random one for example in strasbourg right here and then you go to start and then the car will start the route guidance uh, will get you directly there so you can see right here on the screen uh, all the information very simple um, and pretty pretty nice and it's work really fast also on the way you can stop at uh, restaurants and stuff like that you can see you can make a stop here at the bar you can add it add stop over destination and then you can add it up uh, or you can add also the the gas station and, and all that um, information so it's, it's pretty nice it's much more much better than what was before so you can see i stop here for um, for uh, eating and then i go uh, forward where is my destination so it's, it's kind of really cool also you can see this all over the screen right there the navigation so it's kind of impressive and also you can adjust the way you want it so just like that look how nice it is really cool really cool the visibility from the driver point of view in both cases it's fantastic it's just, you just have a great visibility now let's finish with the navigation if you go to the home screen right here you have some buttons um, on the side you go to home screen you have the telephone connection you have the audio here the media and all that stuff and you have the map if you go for example on the right side let me go back and then if you go to the second page on the second page here you have all kind of information about the car you can see here the status of the car you have the driving information uh, in the last trips how much you drive how much was the consumption how many time you do and stuff like that we will go into in a minute the air manager here you have all information about the battery the status of the battery uh, how much you can still drive electric now and also since start um, how much energy you consume and stuff like that also the quick guide about um, the screen they learn you they teach you a little bit um, how to use the screen if we go to the vehicle status i think you already know it. it's just that screen when it's tell you all kind of information about the car you can select here the driving data and you have all kind of information what was the consumption uh, you can see it's pretty good consumption on this uh, skoda superb plug-in hybrid ev also great 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 consumption i like it i like that also virtual cockpit you can customize from here what you like to see there on the cockpit so this is cool that you are able to do that right here and the vehicle status you already see it the a display here you can see the information about the car how many kilometer can you drive how much you drive electric and how many emission um, the car have and how much the battery uh, charge status is now so if you have the normal superb you will don't have that options right there this is the this was the home screen just i think you make an idea about the home screen if you go to menu here you have all kind of information you have the radio right here where you can change the radio station or you have the source here you can change the bluetooth audio you can connect you have the station uh, right here the station radio station you can save it and also you have the settings where you can change different uh, things right there going to menu next it's the media here you can connect the phone to the media you can change the the sounds you can see the name of the sounds it's more detailed you have a lot of details here so that's that's pretty cool um, they give you this option to have in details everything that you have on the phone and uh, stop the vehicle you already see it it was that information uh, i show you at the beginning help there help here the driving assistant you see all the driving assistants safety settings safety features on the car 
you can also see it as a list if you want. Here are all adaptive cruise control, front assist, lane assist, side assist, dynamic road sign display, trailer recognize, um, driver alert system and yeah, pro occupant there. Let me go back. Now you have the telephone connection, you can connect the sound, you can change the sound the way you want it, position, equalizer, volume and stuff like that. It's pretty cool as well. We have a lot of, I think, nine, we have nine speaker inside this car, inside this new Superb. Uh, also settings here, you can change the language, the time and date and units if you want miles or kilometer, to what you, depend what you like to see there. Uh, and also manage mobile phone data connection, reset to factory and stuff like that. Going forward, the air conditioning, um, here you can control it also um, to a touch screen and not only to manual. So you can use it, you can use the touch screen, the rear air care, air manager settings and stuff like that. Don't want to go too much into detail the smart link we have the possibility to control and connect to the android auto upper car play and mirror link that's to keep in mind that you can control your phone or your car navigation you see it legal user image a manager here on the a manager you can manage the way you want to um, charge the car and then set up shop there not set up on the shop you can go online and yeah buy different stuff uh, and stuff like that so i guess that was all the menu it's a glossy screen it's very nice it's very big it's easy to use it's very responsive and in my opinion it's one of the best on the market guys it looks very nice and it's super simple to use it uh, to be honest uh, it's the same as you find on the volkswagen also on the seat and on the other um, new Skoda cars. I totally recommend if you buy a Skoda, take it with this display because it's awesome. Uh, it's an optional and you can you, you can take it because it's super cool. And also the big screen here look fabulous. Uh, I like it very much. It's really, really a must have in your uh, Skoda. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos. Um, and also thank you very much for watching my videos guys it means a lot for me subscribe like share it and i guess i see you soon in the next one bye guys